uncovered. Truth is evident in my eyes, and a lie is never hidden. Therefore let no one place their unrighteous cause upon the backs of the children, when a wrong is accounted only to the one who performed it. Neither let the disobedience of the one be covered over by the needs of the many, for I have seen it, lo, all is known to me. Therefore let my people be tested, let them be refined in the fire, that the quality of their trust and the endurance of their belief may be revealed, says the Holy One of Israel. A Return to the Garden Thus says the Lord, Behold, the morning star is risen, the universe is filled with His glory, and that glory shall abide with men, even in them and among them. I shall be a father unto them, and they shall be my beloved children forever. Lo, a return to innocence, paradise lost is paradise found. A return to the garden, the universe your playground. Thus, as I have spoken, so shall it be done. The mystery of God revealed, the counting of days no more. Forever young in the presence of your shepherd, your redeemer, your father, your brother, your most beloved friend, the fulfillment of all things for which your hearts have groaned. I am the meaning of life, and all who live in me and I in them will live forever. Reformation Why does the heathen rage and shake his fist toward heaven? Behold, he shall fall with none to catch him, and great shall be his fall. Yet the one who reaches for me shall be lifted up, and the one who extends the hand shall know my dwelling place. For as it is written, whoever has, to him more will be given, and he shall have an abundance. But whoever does not have, even what he has shall be taken away, until the time of reformation is complete, says the Lord. The Kingdom the kingdom of God is a garden, set apart from the many schemes of the adversary, a place of rest, free of briars and thorns, a Sabbath, a holy place which shall never pass away, where no one lies down in death, nor shall any be made to slumber. My people shall never be covered over again, for the old order of things has passed away. Behold, all things have become new says the Lord. The Word of Truth My word is truth, and that which requires understanding shall be given to those of a contrite heart and a humble spirit. For those who love me obey my commandments, and those who remember my Sabbath honor me, and shall know wisdom. Therefore consider these things carefully, for I have indeed prepared a place for those who seek me, for those who long to know me as I truly am, a place for all those accepted in the Beloved, in whom my spirit dwells, the kingdom without end, says the Lord. Faith without works is dead. Let all those who truly know me proclaim my name first by their ways, then with their mouth. For honor only spoken of is but wind, the wail of the hypocrite, who knows not where he is going, having no remorse over where he has been, says the Lord. Faith and Works What is faith without works? Nothing, a lie spoken in vain. And what of works without faith? Vanity, a false good covering, a heart which has turned from the truth, says the Lord. Chest The justice of God is beyond question, standing forever in its permanency, unwavering for all time, righteous. God is sovereign. God is sovereign, his judgment stands, 
Therefore, let the penitent be rewarded equally to their forgiveness, which is equal. And let all evil unrepented be punished in accordance with evil's deeds. The final penalty, of which has remained equal even to this day, the Lord does not change. Intentions Where there are righteous works, there are also those who seek to spoil them for the sake of pride and envy. Where there is pure knowledge, there are also those who defile it among women. Yet the ignorance of the meek is no cause for offense, nor shall the error of the humble bring forth rebuke. For I know the heart and look upon the innermost intentions, says the Lord. Forgive. Blessed are those who do not return evil for evil, or reviling for reviling, but rather pray for their enemies. Blessed are those who hold no ill will in their heart toward another. Indeed, blessed are all those who forgive everyone who has sinned against them, for great shall be their reward in heaven, says the Lord. A heavy stone. Those who refuse my correction are foolish and must walk through dry places, and those who refuse to repent have secured their place in the valley of death, for the pride of man is a heavy stone which increases by weight. Each day it remains unbroken, says the Lord. Insolent Courts Insolent courts bind the proud, and rebellion is a rope by which the foolish hang themselves, says the Lord. The Word of God The Lord your God is a consuming fire, my every word a purifying flame. The presence of the Lord is an oppressive storm, which abases the proud and causes the high-minded to flee. And that which I have spoken to this generation, is it not a sword with which I shall strike to the heart of this people? For I shall surely set all these crooked paths straight and burn away the dross. Yet for those who trust in me and in whom my spirit dwells, my words are like a strong tower set in the midst of battle, which can in no wise be broken down. A great trumpet blowing upon the hill outside the city, which echoes throughout the waste places, a waving banner for this generation, a bright light, a beacon, shining in the midst of this present darkness, a rod of justice for the oppressed and the persecuted, a loosening of the chains placed upon my people, the breaking apart of every shackle. Freedom for those who love me, deliverance for those who understand, strength for the weak, grace to the humble, manna to nourish the penitent, says the Lord. Pride. Only those who know they are sick seek out the physician, yet those who perceive themselves as well will in no wise come to me, keeping me at bay. They remain seated firmly in the darkness of their own understanding, resting upon their laurels by which they have highly esteemed themselves, says the Lord. Stained Glass One who peers through stained glass cannot behold his own image, nor is he able to see those inside clearly for he sees only an outline, a blur of color obscuring his vision. And those on the inside who peer outward remain blinded, able to perceive only a shadow of what truly is, holding up the hand against the brightness for fear of the noonday sun which is about to come in. Thus they prefer the light filtered and the brilliance masked by means of all this painted glass, what then shall a people such as this do when night has fallen, says the Lord.
the humble and penitent man. It is the humble, penitent man who gives me glory in all his ways, for he seeks to honor me, to please me above all else. He wants no part in the ways of this world, neither does he seek glory for himself by his actions. He shines forth, seeking glory for the one alone who is God. Thus the man who places me foremost in all things shall also be first when the glory comes, says the Lord. The King Eternal Behold, the footsteps of the Lord shake the earth, the footsteps of the Lord shall tread the winepress of the wrath of his fury. The presence of the Lord shall break apart the tall mountains, his power shall bring down every mountain, every high place shall be brought low. For the presence of the Lord is strong and mighty, and the anger of the Lord is hot and burns in the heat of his jealousy. Who can turn back the Lord's anger once it is kindled? Who can prevent the Most High from performing his will? Whose glory is like the Lord's? Who comes as the King above all kings, wearing the raiment of God, whose majesty is beyond compare, who is able to stand in the day of his wrath, or survive the power of his sword, which proceeds from his mouth, the day he strikes through the heart of all people and lays his enemies waste, the day every adversary is consumed in the brightness of his coming. For he is mighty in battle and his justice is swift, his victory absolute. Who is the King of Glory? Yahushua HaMashiach. He is the King of Glory, his power is infinite and his love never ending. He is the King everlasting, the King of righteousness. His grace is shed abroad to every contrite and humble spirit. His forgiveness is pure, ever flowing into the hearts of the penitent, restoring them to righteousness and life. Yes, He is the one and only King Eternal. There is no other, there is none like Him. In Union with the Messiah Beloved, there is a day coming when you shall enter my presence and never leave it. A day when you shall behold my face, says the Lord. And wheresoever your heart leads you, there will I be also, with you always where you are. Whether you journey to the heights of the mountains, or to the farthest reaches of creation, there I am, with you where you are. Beloved, all creation is mine, and all I have is yours, for you are mine even as I am yours, also, together, forever. For the glory you have seen, and that which you have imagined, has until now been measured in a human way. Yet the glory of the Lord is of such a kind, glory which has always been, glory with no beginning and no end, having neither height, nor depth, nor length, nor width. For my glory is life, and that love we share, a gift of understanding which comes by knowledge of the Holy. Glory which cannot yet be fully realized, nor are there words sufficient to open your understanding. Fulfillment which only comes by union. My love endures forever. Long after the glory of men has passed away, with the height of their kingdoms turned to dust, my love endures. Long after the stars you behold in the heavens have ceased from shining, my love endures. Deeper and wider than space and time, my love endures. Even before creation, my love endures, and after, my love remains. For I shall be your God, and you shall be my people as long as my love endures, says the Lord. I am God. I am He who formed the earth and all you see in the heavens, He who set the foundations and called creation forth by the word of His power, 
and the vastness of his knowledge, causing all things to be. I made the matrix and placed all things in their proper places, setting all things in order. I am he who formed it. I know all the hidden parts, even the most minute detail by which all things are made, is known to me. Behold, I see the inward parts, from the innermost depth to that which cannot be seen by man, all is known to me. Before me is the whole of creation at all times. No distance is far from me, no measure is too great for me, and no weight is too heavy. That which is beyond your comprehension is known to me each morning, and every evening I behold the whole of creation and consider. For I am the Lord, Yahweh is my name. The Volumes of Truth Thus says the Lord, Beloved, this word, even every volume to every letter, is the word of my glory, which I have put forth once again, a testament of my love and sacrifice, the announcement of my coming, a proclamation of truth, revelation of who I really am, the trumpet call of God, so all those called and chosen may hear and come to me in their proper time and season, Behold, it is also a strong correction for all those who have taken to themselves my name and my word, to pollute it, a plumb line, for this wicked generation. For this word is a waving banner, an ensign to all nations, a trumpet of alarm and war, the sound of recompense and judgment, which shall soon fall upon every nation. For I am who I am the only begotten of the Father, the only true God and Savior, the Mashiach, Yahushua, Yahweh. Keep watch. Thus declares the Lord, all your setting of dates shall come to nothing, and all your precise predictions shall fail, for I may take them before or after, for I am God, behold, the first election is made, the time of bundling passed. Thick clouds have risen in the west, the hard rains have come, and who in all the earth is able to prevent it as it draws near, or hinder it when it arrives? Lo, a mighty wind blows in the east, yet who is aware of it until it has overtaken them? Therefore keep watch, for you know not the time of the Lord's coming, whether it be in the first, or in the second, or in the third watch of the night, you know not the time of his return, you know not the day or the hour, says the Lord. These words of wisdom from me are for all those who have dedicated themselves to me by means of the truth, those who have recognized my words and also do them, those who came to me empty, that I might fill them up, that they might be truly dedicated to me, even as I had dedicated myself to them also, that we may become one, set apart in my glory, for my glory, to the joy of their Father in heaven, says the Lord Yahushua, 